Hello, some of you wanted to know more about my DIY synthesizer case, which I built a couple of weeks ago. I documented its planning and building phases on the Mofwigler Modular Synth forums, where you will find specifics like measurements, parts used and prices. There's a bunch of text and lots of pictures too, so go ahead and check it out. I put the link in the video description. My goal for the case was to make my synth setup portable and to see if it's fun to make music with a limited amount of gear, although it turned out to be quite a complete setup in the end. Before planning and building it, I experimented with my 6U Eurorack case, the Microbrute and the Cork Volker Beats, which you can see in my synth jam videos from June to July 2014. I liked it a lot, so I built this DIY case. Here it is, closed. I spray painted it black, leaving the back side empty with just some paint primer for some future artwork and I attached metal corner protectors and rubber feet. It weighs around 25 pounds with everything in it, so I'm still a little worried about the top handle being able to support all of the weight. I've had a little accident with it already, which you can see in the Moth Wiggler thread. Let's open it. In order to make the top part stand open a bit leaned back, I have to attach some feet to the case's sides, so it doesn't fall over backwards. I'm not too happy with those feet yet, but they work for now. On my music table at home, I just have a box on which the top part sits. Inside, there are two 118 HP rows of Eurorack modules. The Microbrute, a patch cable pouch, which my girlfriend made me, thank you very much, a small Behringer MX400 mixer, and a little pouch with a daisy chain of 9V power connectors. This lets me connect guitar effect pedals and also other 9V gear, of which there is a lot. You just have to watch the polarity of the connectors, for which there are adapters. One of those 9V connectors powers the mixer, which was a tip I received on Instagram, saving me one power plug. Below the Eurorack modules I have a DIY panel with modular synth utilities, which is attached using 3M Dual Lock, which I also used to fix the microbrew to the case. It's similar to Velcro, but a lot stronger and more durable. Behind the utilities panel, there is a power strip with all the power supplies for the case, which are also attached with dual lock. I have the 9V power supply, the Microboots power supply, and the Dupfer A100 DIY kit power supply for the Eurorack modules, and there is still one empty power outlet left. Let's put the utility panel back on and have a look at it. On the left, there are two sets of passive multiples, and below that, two 8th inch jack to quarter inch jack converters. The left one can also be switched to convert a mono 8th inch jack to a stereo or dual mono quarter inch jack, so that I can plug my stereo headphones in there and hear the mono signal on both ears. In the middle, there are three passive attenuators. And on the right side, I have another two sets of passive multiples and two manual switches, which let me switch a signal's path or switch a signal on and off quickly. It's been a really fun and interesting project and I can only recommend building your own cases. You really don't need much DIY expertise and you can create something which completely fits your personal needs. I haven't taken it on the road yet, but I will soon and I'm really looking forward to see how it holds up. If you have any questions, feel free to post them underneath this video or in the Moffrigler thread. Thanks a lot for watching, subscribe for more videos and see you soon. Bye!